Just shout! Just shout! I like it. Hey, before we get started with the whole video, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see more videos of me! Hey, I felt compelled to do another video today. This one's on how to make a landing page for print-on-demand stores like Teespring or Redbubble. I'm going to show you Teespring because that's the one I particularly use. However, there's a ton of them out there. Do your research and find the one that you like. So the reason I'm making this video is because I made a video about how to sell Teespring uh, products um, through some strategies of mine. And I had a question from Diane that asked me, uh, she basically said, oh, this is fine, but how do I build a landing page and where do I put my links? So, and I also had another guy who asked me to uh, build a funnel, uh, how to build a funnel for Teespring. So I decided in this video that I was going to uh, use three different services um, to show you how to build landing pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you real quickly, as quickly as I possibly can, uh, a process that I use to build landing pages and where do I get where I get my material for it and so forth so let's get started before I start building landing pages or funnels um, I always make sure I have material for whatever I'm trying to sell and for print on demand I use placeit.net um, it is by far the best place on the internet right now to get mock-ups created for your whatever you're selling. Um, it doesn't even have to be, it could be uh, Shopify. Uh, it don't have to be print on demand. It could be a, any kind of store. It could be your own physical store. So what I do is I get all this, I get all this together before I begin. I just wanted to point this out. So you're going to be seeing these pictures. You're going to be like, how the hell did you do that? I used placeit.net. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link below. All right, let's move on. I'm going to cover... Three sites, okay, that are um, available. That I there's a bunch of them. There's I used to use ClickFunnels, uh, but I just didn't like spending ninety seven dollars a month. I am a small, very small business. I my business is me. I I brand myself when I sell things. I sell it around myself. Um, my Instagram stores all have a theme, but I integrate myself. I'm not that big. I'm not a big corporation. I really can't afford $97 a month. I mean, I could afford it, but I, it was taking away from my profit. All right, so I'm going to cover three of them that are a lot cheaper. The first one I'm going to cover is absolutely free. It's called Bitrex24, but this is a great place to start if you don't have any money and you don't want to spend any money. Uh, so I've already created one, so let's go ahead and go in there. These are really qu quite easy to edit. Um, you know, editing these things are really simple. Okay, so these are really simple. Um, you just hit edit, you know, whatever. Uh, you want to add actions, you can add actions. You want to add a block, you just hit add block, and there's all these different parameters and stuff that you can put in there. Okay, I've already done it. I put a video on top, all right, and this, you, this these videos don't play in place. These videos pop out. I'll show you what I mean when we uh, go live here. All right, but I've already put everything in. Down here, all right, so I have a little text here, and then down here I have the actual form to collect information, okay? What's cool about Bitrix is you can ask, now, you can do this with all autoresponders or whatever, but this, has, this free service lets you collect emails and phone numbers. That's pretty cool. All right, you can see here, what all you do to edit this all right, so if I want to edit this form right here, all right, I would come over here to design. I'm sorry, not design, edit on the left. And you can see CRM form, all right? If I don't like what I have here, okay, I can go to manage CRM forms. And I can go down here to, so I'll go ahead and edit. And I can add parameters over here. All right, contact information, second name, last name, a photo, date of birth, whatever. I just ask for first name, email, and phone number. All right, to link my uh, form, 
to my Teespring, I'll go ahead and put my Teespring link right here. This is like I'll go back, go back here. So you go to I, now. All I did was drop. I dropped this form in here by adding a block. I went over to block. I found CRM form and I clicked on it and found the one I liked. All right, there's a bunch of them. You just and you just hit the add button and it brings it in there. I've already done that. So I want to edit it. I want to you know edit the form here. This is where you put the link, your Teespring link. This is where you put your link to your store. All right, it's that simple. Once it's done, you hit publish, and you can see here. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, hit send. And what it does here, it's gonna it says thank. This is your thank you message right here, and it redirects you to your Teespring account. Now. What's cool about this uh, here, if I get out of here, I go to my CRM, let's see here, so I click on this. So you can see here, uh, I can send them, uh, I can call them, I can message them, I can email them, all right from this particular uh, free service. So it's not that bad, it's actually pretty good for being free. All right, and that's called bitrix24.net, okay? The other one is, is GetResponse. Um, GetResponse is kind of an all-in-one platform where you can build landing pages, uh, sales funnels, which a landing page is basically a sales funnel. You're, you're taking them through a funnel. But you could have you could uh, build sales funnels in here with upsells and all that stuff. Okay. I've already created one, so let's go ahead and look at it real quick. So this is the editor. And I just made it really simple. And I tried to keep everything in these blue lines because most people are on mobile. Because if you look at it, you want to see what it looks like on mobile. All right. You want to stay within those parameters. And all I did was pop and drag over here. However, if you add a video here, it has to be like a YouTube or Vimeo video. All right. And then you just go ahead and uh, you got your form. Now, this here takes you to an actual physical thank you page. So you have that over here. And you can see that plus sign right here. I could can continue cont with more pages. Just like I did uh, over in ClickFunnels, I could do it here and get response. All right, so there's the thank you page. Really simple. All right, so I want to go to the next step. And you would put a description in here. You know, this is all for SEO purposes. I'm not going to worry about it. It's your choice. You could do a single opt-in or double opt-in. I would suggest double opt-ins. Um, you know, but I'm just for right now because I'm just messing around. I'm going to leave it there. You could put your remarketing. There's all these platforms down here, Google Analytics, Mixpanel, Yandex, all of them. There's a bunch of them. All right, and, of course, you can put a tracking ID in here from Google Ads. Hit Publish, and they give you a landing page. They give you a link. You, I mean, you could use that link if you wanted to. However, I will take this link. Oops, shit. I don't want to print it. That was wrong with me. Cancel. Cancel. All right, I would copy that, and I would come over here to Rebrandly. I use Rebrandly because with Rebrandly... I was able to buy my own domain for two dollars. All right, uh, I didn't choose a .com. I choose a .rocks because I don't want to be like everybody else. All right, so I got uh, and plus JustShawn.com wasn't available. Anyways, uh, so you see right here, I already have it made up. JustShawn.rocks uh, hashtag block for real. So we visit that URL. It's going to take us to our landing page that we made in GetResponse. All right. So we just simply here. All right, so let me go back to get response real quick. I may have failed to talk about something. Someone, the reason I'm going back is I want to make sure I get this right uh, because Diane, uh, this here is set up through get response to go right to my autoresponder. Once they put their name in here and they hit get yours now, they're going to get an email sent to their email uh, that I set up and uh, just just simply go and set up an uh, autoresponder. It's not that hard. I mean, you can type an email, follow the directions. That's not that hard. Okay. And once they click on this, it will take them to a thank you page. This here is where I put the link. All right. So if I click on that. You can see right here. This is where I put the link to my Teespring account to get them to go purchase it. All right. So let's go ahead and hit next step. All right. So here we are on the, the actual site. And I'll put an a email here or a hiya. Hiya. Just put some bullshit in there. 
and we'll hit get yours now. All right, and it will take me to my thank you page. Once they're here, he'll hit the buy now button, and it will take them to Teespring. All right, and that's get response. All right, get response costs about, you know, for the, these services, $40 a month if you have less than 1,000 subscribers. If you have over 1,000 subscribers, you should know what you're doing. So that was get response. And Patrick's the last one I want to talk about, and I've already built one in here. It's really simple. All right, I can add a lot of elements. And I can keep adding elements. I can keep building this page all the way down. I mean, I, but I'm not going to do that because it just, I don't like pages like that. Like, get it or do it. All right, so here we are. There's a lot of options. So say you're using a uh, third-party autoresponder that has an HTML code. You could add HTML. You can see that right there. All right, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. But if you're using one, you could do that. All right, but here... Um, I've already got everything in here, so I've got my uh, text. Just sit, all of this is drop and drag. This video, though, is housed inside Max Funnels. I don't have to upload it to a third party and then integrate it in. No, this is automatically in there. All right. The forms. This is where everybody gets confused with the forms. Now here, I integrate this with uh. You see here, get response, my autoresponder, it's already integrated, okay? And it integrates with a lot of different autoresponders, you know, like SendLane and Aweber. There's a bunch of them. There's like probably 15 or 16 of them that they integrate with. To take them to a thank you page, instead of building a thank you page here, I have a pop-up. You see right here, pop-ups and sticky bars. I want to edit that. It will pop up, and it will show you. It's just a simple pop-up. Thank you for your interest. Buy now. All right, and this is where... Right here is where I put my link to my Teespring account. Really simple. So all this is drop and drag. Uh, this timer down here, they have timers on Get Response as well. It's just right here, you can see it, timer, just drop and drag. And it's all simple instructions. Building these funnels is not hard. It's just getting on a system and playing with it. Adding elements, making it look the way you want it, you know, putting a color scheme together. Mine aren't always right. But I don't give a shit. Just go ahead and build good solid funnels. So I want to go ahead and hit save and next. Like I said, this one's called Max Funnels. And, I'll, and I'm going to leave a link for all this stuff down below so you can check it out yourself. So we would come over here uh, to rebrandly, and I already have it here. This one is just Sean.rocks block you. And I'll hit visit URL. And you can see right there the video will play. It looks clean. And I could have made it bigger, smaller, whatever. I just made it that size. You put an email in here. Um, let me put, and we'll hit grab yours. Now, limited time offer. And you'll get a pop-up. And the pop-up, this is your thank you. This pop-up is your thank you page. And you, you could add a thank you page. You could build a whole funnel out here. Um, I could have had upsells, funnels all the way down. Like I said, this is where I put my link to my uh, Teespring product page. They hit buy now, and bam, it takes them to how do I block you in real life gear. Right, so, Diane, I hope that clarified, and anyone else that was interested, uh, how to build a uh, sales funnel, uh, landing pages, and where you put your links uh, to your product inside your landing pages. Um, so, I hope that answered your question. Um, if, you have, if anybody out there has questions for me about what I, uh, this, you know, the stuff I put online or, you, you know, you want additional information, just do what Diane did. Ask in the comments. I look at my comments pretty much every day and I'll make sure I give you uh, the best information I can. Um, I've been doing this for a good long time now. I have a lot of, you know, little tricks and whatnots and uh, I'm trying to put them out there as much as I can, you know, but I have to work too. I mean, I work at home, but. I mean, I can't just be making videos every day. If you notice, I usually do them, and I'll do a bunch of them for about three or four months, and then I'll drop off for a month or two. Uh, it's because I get exhausted. I'm old, yeah, and I like to party. So anyways, thank you for being here, and get ahead and grab a How Do I Block You Now shirt, mug, or iPhone case today. Oh.